individual healthcare plans. Individual healthcare plans needn't be overcomplicated. They're a short, clear guide as to the particular medical need, the triggers, the precautions, the management and treatment in an emergency, designed for a particular pupil. They're drawn up by the school, the health, a healthcare professional, school nurse and the parent and more often than not the pupil is involved as well um, so that everybody is involved in their well-being and the care and the management of their medical condition. The idea is to ensure that they can participate as fully as possible in all aspects of school life. So there are various template individual healthcare plans that can be used. Most of the main organisations like Allergy UK and Anaphylaxis UK and Diabetic UK uh, and all the other main ones, as well as um, the Healthcare um, Alliance as well, um, have drawn up really helpful templates to make it easier for you to construct an individual healthcare plan and draw one up together um, as a team. So key bits to have on your plan written permission from the parent carer and the head teacher regarding any medication that will be brought into school um, to be administered by a member of staff or administered by the child. Um, how that medication will be administered, when it will be administered and why it will be administered. Whether there's any additional monitoring that's required, any testing, um, very often, particularly if, uh, for example, the child's diabetic, they will be testing themselves or the staff will be testing, um, all different ways to do that. Understanding what the testing means, what the levels mean, and what action should be taken according to the levels that, that you read. And how they are as well, so looking at the whole child too. Um, things that might need to be done before and after PE, for example, maybe they would have um, a salbutamol inhaler if they're asthmatic before they start doing exercise. Maybe they don't, but things like that. And likewise around meal times. So if they're diabetic, there may be specific requirements about meals and snacks and when they need to have that, have that and what access they need to have to specific foods. Um, how the medication is going to be stored and how much access that they have to their own medication because that's important and certainly with things like asthma pumps, um, anaphylaxis, um, adrenaline auto injectors, um, you need to have immediate access should there be um, a, a medical emergency. So really important things like that, um, what training um, staff needs to be able to help in the management and, and assist the, the child at school and anything else around the child's um, or the pupil's care. So there will need to be a continuous update of the individual health care plan as well and that again needs to be documented and um, reviewed by the pupil the parent carer and um, any specialist carers as well. So that is an individual healthcare plan. It's not needed for every single medical condition, but if it's a more complex medical condition, then it is a very useful and sensible document to have in place and something that all schools should be doing.